So you're looking for a fragrance that helps you stand alone. You're looking for a fragrance that helps you stand apart from all your friends, from everybody out there. You don't want to smell like the masses, right? It's hard to find a fragrance where you really stand apart and set yourself apart from everybody else around you. Well, if you're looking for such a fragrance house or you're looking for such a fragrance, then you found the right channel. Hi everyone, my name is Scott. This is the Fragrance Channel, Scott Aromatical. Welcome, thank you so much for being here. It really means the world to me that you took some time out of your busy life to join me today. And I hope wherever you're at that you're happy and peace has found you. Now, let's go ahead and dive right into the video. As you can already tell from the thumbnail, what we're gonna be talking about today, and this happens to be one of my all time favorite perfume houses. Bar none, one of the best because it checks off all the boxes for me. Guys, if you're looking for a perfume house with good storytelling, this is it. If you're looking for a perfume house where you stand apart, as I mentioned in the beginning, if you're looking for a perfume house where they pay attention to details, if you're looking one with good art, if you're looking one with good concept, man, from top to bottom, the way this fragrance house is run just really, really means something to me. And so I'm so glad to be reviewing this house. Now, today we're going to be talking about, as you can tell, cow. I got my sample. I don't really like to blind buy a lot of fragrances. That's just, just how I do things. So I got my sample. And when I first bought this fragrance right here, Seahorse, it was a sample. Loved it. Bought it. Same with this one right here. Camel was a sample. Loved it. Bought it, guys. So that's how I do things. I really, really love this house. Here are a few of the samples that I, that I got right at the beginning. And these are just a few. You've got this exquisite award-winning squid right here. You've got my son's favorite, which is T-Rex. And then of course you've got right here sloth and i have so many others but i've kind of handed them out over the last year of me being involved in, on my fragrance journey because i want to be ambassador for this brand because they are so amazing and like i said i love this fragrance house now you know a lot of you who are frag heads and have been in the fragrance community know this is kind of a niche within the niche market if you're just stopping by for the first time first of all welcome again but this is not your everyday fragrances okay and the way I like to explain it, and I hope I'm not insulting anybody, but this is kind of how I explain it. When you go to buy art, you know, there's art such as Mickey Mouse or maybe Spider-Man, and it's mass appealing and people love it, and it's still art, right? But then there's art like a Jackson Pollock painting where it just looks like chaos on a board, you know? There's like splattered painting, and you're like, you really don't understand it. That's called abstract art. Well, guys, that's just as much art as, say, a picture of Mickey Mouse or a picture of a puppy. I know it looks like chaos, but it's controlled chaos and there's so much emotion and there's so much energy and there's so much vibe going on in those pieces that they really are amazing if you take the time to stand back and look at it. And they're masterpieces, okay? And that's how I feel about zoologists. Yeah, do they make your mass appealing fragrances that you might find at a Macy's or a Dillard's? No. Um, but they do make award-winning artistic fragrances and I love the whole concept of zoology. You know, this company really cares about the environment, they care about animals, and they really invoke a story and tell a tale of these animals. Now, you know what you're thinking, gross, I don't want to smell like an animal. Well, some of the scents that come from animals happen to be beautiful, but they're not always invoking the scent of the animal, they're sometimes invoking the scent of maybe what they eat or their habitat. All right, without any further ado, let me go ahead and open up my box, and my box came like this, and it came quick. From the time I ordered my scent, and by the way, I ordered straight from zoologists. I didn't want to go through anybody else because a lot of times when you get samples, they come in splash bottles or they come in horrible atomizers. I wanted the full package presentation. So these are really cool and they spray and they're, and look, look, the artwork is just so amazing, right? And I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to open it right in front of you guys. And then of course you get a handwritten note, which is really cool. I've got to, I save all the ones I have. And basically what these notes are is just Victor telling me I'm the world's greatest reviewer. I mean, that's really nice of him to say that, you know, but he didn't have to. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and open up this package so I can tell you. I know you guys are waiting and I've talked long enough. Let's go ahead and open it and I'll tell you exactly what I think. I'm going to spray this right on my skin. Again, here's the presentation. Okay. Real quick, let me put a full bottle presentation on the screen. The first one I'll put on the screen is the limited edition, so you can see what that looks like in case you guys are interested. Beautiful bottle, beautiful packaging. I got the limited edition of Seahorse, but this is the limited edition of Cow. 
And then the next one I'll put on is probably the bottle you'll get if you don't act quick enough, which is still just as beautiful, right? And now let's go ahead and put the bottle and the notes on the screen, and I'll read you the notes real quick. All right, in the top, we've got apple and sage. In the hearts, we've got milk. Lily of the Valley, which kind of gives it a soapy, sweet sensation. Heliotrope, which can sometimes be almost like almond vanilla-like. And then Jasmine, which gives you that sweet, fresh, you know, vibe. And then Violet, which is usually powdery, airy, and kind of dewy as well. In the base, you've got Musk, Cedar, Vetiver, Amber, and Benzoin. If you don't know what Benzoin smells like, it it's kind of smells reminiscent to vanilla. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and open it up and let's look at that presentation. You know, to get to get a sample like that and just have a beautiful presentation. And you can already see from the picture what we've kind of got going on in the notes. And basically what you have in here is the story that it's trying to invoke, which is absolutely amazing. And then the notes that I just read. All right. Without any further ado, we'll take it out and we'll spray it on skin, y'all. Give it a good heavy dose. Why not? Mmm. Right away, I get a blast of that green apple. That's nice in the opening. Very aromatic and somewhat peppery. Kind of a savory vibe going on. That may be coming from the sage. Mmm. Wow. A bit of a creaminess coming from the milk and I suspect also from the amber as well. It's giving it a nice soft touch. Very clean. Right away when I smell this fragrance, I really, really think of spring and summer. This is not, I don't know what I was expecting. I think I was expecting something really, really complex. And it is complex and it is artistic. The perfumer behind this, if I'm saying this correctly, if I'm not, I'm sorry guys, I don't mean any offense to anybody or the perfumer. Victor, I'm not very good with some of these names, but I think the perfumer's name, if I'm saying this right, is Natalie Feistenhauer. Is that right? If it's wrong, I apologize. Victor Wong is the, is the creator of this company, and this is brand new. It came out in 2022. Powdery, very powdery. Definitely smelling the white florals now. A little bit of muskiness. Okay. There's like a hint of grass in this. Like when you just fresh, when you just cut the grass and you kind of, kind of can smell that fresh cut grass in the air. My nose, this is very soothing and very tranquil. And I can see where they're going. Where they're going with this is basically you just roaming the countryside, smelling beautiful and tranquil and soothing, just smelling that fresh grass that you would smell as you were roaming the countryside. As it's starting to dry down, I do am getting something a little bit soapy and sweet. My guess is it's coming from that synthetic note called Lily of the Valley, mixed with that heliotrope. Man, it's really, really good. There's a nice fresh sweetness as well coming from the jasmine. And of course, you're getting that powdery, that powderiness from the violet. This to me leans just ever so slightly feminine, okay? But this is a unisex fragrance, and I would definitely rock this fragrance. And I'm going to be honest with you, this is full bottle worthy to me, 100%. This is really, really nice. This definitely needs to be in my collection soon. Wow, really, really nice. Perfect for the spring. I feel like you could get away with wearing this in the office for sure. This is very, very appealing. Um, you know, it's not going to be offensive to anybody. It's not loud and in your face either. Um, it projects at about an arm's length. It's not going to fill up the room and choke anybody out by any means. Um, as far as how long this lasts, couldn't tell you. This is just my first impression. Wow. What more can I say, guys? It's just a beautiful, beautiful, creamy, lip, slightly milky. You know, the milk note's not really projecting here. What I'm really getting is the florals, especially the lily, the valley, and the jasmine. That apple note came out quick and then it went away. And now I'm just really smelling the lily of the valley, the jasmine, the violet, and, and the vetiver. Yes, the vetiver. Love the vetiver. Very soothing. Very tranquil. Victor, you've done it again as you always have. 
Natalie, you've hit a home run, as I'm sure you're well aware of, or you wouldn't have put this fragrance out. Man, this is so good. From presentation to the way the fragrance smells to customer service with the handwritten notes and how quickly this shipped out to me. This is a good price for a very high quality niche fragrance, luxury niche fragrance, guys. It's a pretty good price for this fragrance. So check this company out. If you're brand new, if you're brand new to fragrances, give them a try. You're gonna be happy with what you see. If you're an animal lover, if you love people who take care of the planet, care, they don't do any testing or do anything harmful to animals, you definitely wanna check this company out. So amazing, the art, the storytelling, the award-winning perfumers they have on board with this company, just everything from top to bottom, attention to detail is amazing. I'm giving this fragrance four stars, two thumbs up. It's absolutely amazing, perfect for spring and summer. Like I said, ladies, you're really going to love this one. Confident men, you can pull this off anytime, any place, anywhere. This is definitely well done. So those are my first impressions. Folks, have you had any experience with this fragrance house? If not, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and check them out. But all you fragrance heads who have had some experience, what are some of your favorite zoologist fragrances? These two right here are right up there for me. And who knows, maybe Cal will come and catch them. I also know I need a full bottle of Chipmunk because that is one of the most beautiful, almost gourmandish, nutty fragrances I've ever gotten my nose on. So Chipmunk will be one of my next purchases as well. I'd like to get Cal in my collection. That limited edition bottle is really, really awesome as I showed you in the beginning, guys. Let me know down in the comments. What do you think? What are some of your favorite zoologist fragrance? Okay, this video helped anybody to make a decision. Or if you got any entertainment out of this video whatsoever, please leave me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Leave a comment down below telling me who you are, where you're from. I love hearing from everybody. I'd love to know who some of my followers and subscribers are. It's just kind of fun to know where y'all are from. So let me know down below. Share this video with your friends and family. It would really help me out. And I really want you to join me on my fragrance journey and be a part of my fragrance family, the Scott Aromatico fragrance family. Come on, all you gotta do, it doesn't cost you anything. Just hit the subscribe button down below and go ahead and hit those bell notifications off to the side and it's that simple. And I'll see you guys next time. You know I love each and every one of you, no doubt about it, don't doubt it. I love y'all, so I'll see you next time. Peace, love, ciao.